everybody, and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So this week, we're going to talk about using your power line in your home to do your networking with Powerline Networking. So today, what I wanted to talk to you about was power line networking. Now, uh, there's, I don't want you to get this confused with power over ethernet. Power over ethernet is a way to give power to uh, a device at the end of an ethernet cable. This is actually the exact opposite of that. What it does is it injects your data onto the power lines that are running through your walls. Um, and this is a very simple thing to do. Uh, what it's good for is it's a good solution for people that may uh, live in older houses that have like lath and plaster with the chicken wire in the wall. Uh, that tends to block wireless signals. Um, also, maybe if you have a very large house um, that you can't, uh, you know, your wireless signal won't get from one uh, end to the other or maybe a multiple story house. Maybe your uh, internet access is in the basement and you're trying to get something connected upstairs. Um, the wireless signals going through uh, the floors uh, is, is thicker than a wall would be, so it tends to uh, cut them down a little bit. So what you have is, is you actually have two of these power line adapters. One will go at either end of the run. So uh, for our scenario, um, let's say we um, got a digital picture frame for Christmas and our router is in our basement and we want to put the picture frame upstairs in say our bedroom you know uh, but we still want the online capabilities and we want to pull our videos from our computer so all you do is you take your cable and you connect it into one of the LAN ports on your router then on the other end of your cable you just connect it to the bottom of your power line adapter. Now you can see here there's just a couple of prongs and we plug this into the outlet. Very simple. So then at the other end um, upstairs where you're going to put your picture frame, all you need to do is you would have your power line adapter connected to a wall outlet, connect the ethernet cable into the bottom of the, the opposite side of this, and then connect your ethernet cable into whatever device it is that you're going to connect. Now all these are doing is they're using the existing power lines that are in your walls already uh, as an Ethernet cable. So there is, uh, the, you can see the hardware setup for this is very very simple. But the big question is if you're plugging your router into your outlet, doesn't your data just flow out onto the power grid? Well, it does, but what we want to do is we want to encrypt our information. That way, if somebody else, say, has another set of these in another house down the block, they won't be picking up your signal. So let's look and see how we encrypt uh, the data over our power line network. Start by launching the DHP300 Powerline HD utility. Once it finds your Powerline HD adapters, what we want to do is click on the security tab and then enter in a unique name for our network ID. Then all you have to do is save the settings and the two adapters will automatically be connected together and encrypted. So as you can see it's very simple to encrypt your data so that your information isn't uh, flowing out on the power grid and power line networking is a very easy way to solve those tricky situations with wireless networking or where you couldn't you know just run a uh, an ethernet cable through the wall so that's going to do it for this week of dealing tv diy i'm mike and thanks for watching mm -hmm.